All right, guys, welcome to now the extra section of the course. And this is basically just, uh, basically it's gonna be like the leftover videos or just things that I wanna talk about that I couldn't really find the place in the actual course, but it's still part of the course. So it's a bit weird to explain, but um, basically all we're gonna talk about here is just understanding um, your pairs, know your pairs. Um, so like, I don't know, you can probably apply this to yourself or a lot of people that you see and you see people trying to trade almost every single pair, right? And at the same time, they're trying to portray the idea of being patient and basically waiting for the trade to come to you, right? But when people say that, Right. What, what does that actually mean? What does it mean when somebody tells you um, you should be you should let the trade come to you and you shouldn't chase the trade? What does that actually mean? That means that obviously you're going to follow a plan. Right. And a plan is going to include what pairs you trade, when you trade, how you trade, etc. Right. So when you're trading, you know, even if you're trading more than six to seven pairs, it's just like, <clears throat> you're you're surfing through pairs essentially looking for the setup that you want to see and in my opinion that's literally what chasing a trade means you're chasing how um you're basically you're, you're chasing the trade because in my opinion all right if you're surfing through pairs looking for a specific type of setup you're not really focusing on you know a specific pair's behaviors um you know learning when they move how they move etc 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 so I preach that you should be sticking to honestly no more than four pairs and mastering how the behaviors work because for example your USD here does not move you know the same way GJ does or the same way Euro odd moves right so I trade right so let me just show you how I have it set up so you can see here right I have all of my pairs basically categorized under whatever category it is and here I have my pair list and these are the pairs that I trade right so as you can see you're gonna see ADUSD EURUSD DXY and Amiri this is a stock that I just look at for for fun in my free time um, but DXY is obviously you know the influencer of the dollar right so I personally trade New York overlap with London and then parts of New York afterwards. So that means that I should be more inclined to trade dollar pairs because that's when dollar pairs are most active, right? So AUD USD and Euro USD have been the main pairs that I traded throughout 2017, mainly Euro USD. So instead of me trying to surf through my pair through every single pair and try to find setup I'd rather catch the entire move on your USD or AD USD, right? And if you th if you're thinking to yourself, oh, maybe I'm not gonna catch as many moves. Okay, well that's fine. Oh, maybe I won't trade every day. Oh, that's fine. It's even better, right? And just to show you here, it's all right. So today is Thursday, right? It's Thursday, March 26th, and I have here lined. I mean, I have here marked out the open of this week right and i have basically highlighted every single setup that i would have been able to take based off of rules right and this is all off one pair i haven't even looked at your aud usd i haven't even looked at it but as you can see here right your usd would have given me four different setups five different setups i'm sorry five different setups all varied through time and if quote unquote you would have taken every single trade right just in theory right trade number one 85 to one trade number two a hundred uh, let's see what that says 123 to one 58 to one 80 to one and 22 to one so let's let's actually do the math here All right so 22 plus 80 that's 102 102 plus 58 160 160 plus 123, 183, 
that's relatively 360 370 ish right three and if you're risking one percent each trade right that's about 370 to five right because we're risking one percent each trade that's a total of five percent risk for a total of over 360 um, reward percentage and that's all off of one pair in less than one week of trading right and that just shows you the potential that if i under if i learn how euro ust moves the behaviors that it has and by behaviors you're gonna you're gonna understand when you're looking through different pairs like for example a like for example some pairs might respect more SEs, some pairs might respect more inefficiencies some pairs might give you that volume reaction that you want some uh, some won't so it's why you should examine your pairs know the pairs that fit you and your trading hours and essentially Put that into a plan and then test it out see if you like it if you like it and if it works then get then get at it there's that's all there is to it it's just i believe that if you stick to your pairs you're going to truly understand um, the behaviors of that specific pair and that's what matters right because if all i did was trade your usd this week and i took every single trade right flawlessly right you might not have gotten every trade flawlessly but let's say you even get two of these right 58 to, the two smallest ones 58 to 1 and 22 to 1 right that's still 70 percent which is honestly insane you don't see that anywhere right so all i want you to get from this is know your pairs don't chase every trade by trying to surf through pairs and don't bite off more than you can chew what i mean by that is don't have five to six pairs you like when you know you can't keep up with every single one of them Honestly, I can't keep up with more than three pairs because I'm wanting to know exactly what's going on, how it's going, how it's happening and what I can do to capitalize on there. And I can't do that for more than two pairs, occasionally three. So that's why I mainly trade AUD USD and Euro USD and just correlate dollar to it and just ride the wave from there, ride trend. So yeah, guys.